Bless the Lord, O my soul, blessed art thou, Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's gospel makes it very clear that we must be prepared for the day that the Lord returns, the day and hour we will not know, but we must be prepared. Every single day and every single hour, all of us, myself included, face temptations and and trials. And oftentimes those are moments and events that distract us from the path. They keep our focus on worldly things. Is my boss still mad at me today? Is my wife upset with me today like she was yesterday? I wish my neighbor would mow his lawn. There are all of these worldly distractions that keep us from being focused on preparation for the day that the Lord returns. The hour and the day that we will not know and that will be actually a, quite a surprise for us. Imagine you're walking in the thriftway and all of a sudden the heavens open up and the Lord is returning and you're thinking, oh, I was worried about whether I wrote a check for the insurance today, did I forget? And now the ultimate insurance policy has been displaced by all my worldly concerns. How do we keep ourselves focused on that which needs to be focused on? Well, one really important way to do this is by being in service to others and to really make sure that we love them and care for them. The Lord says, how can you love God whom you have not seen if you do not love your neighbor? So we need to work on that. Every one of us needs to work on that. Do we love our neighbor? Even that crabby old lady that lives across the street and who glares at us when we're going out to get our, in our car in the driveway. Do we really love her? Do we really care about her? Do we even get it, uh, give it a thought that maybe there's a reason why she's like she is? Maybe she has suffered a lot and maybe the one thing she needs from us is a kindly wave. Even though we may get a glare back, who knows the effect that's going to have on her heart? What about the relative that we really cannot get along with, but we run into them at family reunions? Do we avoid them? Or, or do we make a beeline to them and give them a hug? Aunt Margaret, I haven't seen you forever. How are you? And even though she might bite your neck at that moment, you smile and you love her anyway. Do you have a bandage? bandage? <laughs> this, is the, this is what we are all as Christians charged to do on a daily basis, on an hourly basis. And the more love that we spread and the more kindness that we put, produce, the closer we get to God. So it's not about sitting in the back of your bedroom with your Bible open and communing with God, that's important. But if you're not loving your neighbor, that moment is not going to do you any good. Now, how do we love people that are 
really nasty to us. How do we do that? Well, that's really something that as individuals, we're probably unable to do it. But with God's help, we can do it. With God's help, we can indeed love even the unlovable. About 20 years ago, when I was in the heart of doing my once a month prison ministry, there was one prisoner that was absolutely irritating. He wasn't in my Orthodox study group, but he was someone that seemed to be put in my path after you know, when there were over 2,000 prisoners and I don't know how it worked out, but every single time I would arrive, he would be there and he would be glowing, glory, glaring at me. And, and oftentimes make unkind remarks like, oh, it's you again? Or, or things I can't even repeat. But I always smiled and I always nodded and I always said, how are you this afternoon? And regardless, he never said anything kind back until one day he came to the Orthodox study group. And about a year later, I baptized him into the faith. Who knew? There are miracles like that. But all those miracles happen when we love our neighbor. And in loving our neighbor, we learn to love God. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. If you have found this content to be a blessing, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Son and immortal word.